Welcome to another Todd's Two Minute Tech Tip Tuesday. Brought to you by the National RV Training Academy. The largest hands-on RV training academy in America. Hey, before we get to the video, which I know this is the reason why you're here, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. That way you don't miss anything. Hit the subscribe button now. Thank you. Now, back to our Tech Tip Tuesday. Hey, it's time to answer your questions that you have regarding your RV. So let's go ahead and get to reading those. All right, Todd, you do a good job answering our questions. And yes, I am subscribed. Enough said. All right. Uh, let's see here. Now, onto my question. Travel trailer emergency brake switch. Now, they're talking about the breakaway switch. All right. If there is a master cutoff switch for the house battery and it's in the off position and the camper becomes disconnected from the vehicle power cord and the emergency brake, uh, the emergency breakaway switch is engaged, will it be active? Well, the answer is yes. I know what he's asking. Hey, Todd, you tell us that, you know, we should turn off that uh, master disconnect. One, I will never tell you that. That's the most misunderstood thing there is, okay? But in the event you turn that off, right? You don't want to send power down to certain things. The question is, is, hey, that, that seven pin connector, right? And that number two wire, right, coming over. If I disconnect that to my breakaway switch, will the breakaway switch connected to my batteries inside the coach, will it still activate my brakes? The answer is yes, okay? That is an emergency and that is a life safety issue and it is not relegated, it is not running through that breakaway switch. It's its own dedicated line over to the brakes, okay? As a matter of fact, there's no fuse, okay? It just closes that switch. When you pull that pin on that breakaway, you just simply close the loop between the batteries and your brakes, okay? So they instantly hit and lock up. So yes, if you want to, you can drive with your disconnect um, in the on position. In other words, you've disconnected power to whatever's coming out of that switch. But I will tell you, your breakaway switch is on its own circuit. As a matter of fact, your landing gear is on its own circuit and more than likely even your slides are on your own circuit. Now I say that with a caveat, each OEM may be a little bit different, but typically those big items, they don't run through that breakaway switch, right? Two different paths. There's your tech tip. All right, before you get to the bloopers, which is why you're here in the first place, the RV industry needs thousands of RV technicians and inspectors, and now is the perfect time to do that. If you want to make more money or have more control over your time, Go ahead and click the link below. Or if you just want to learn how to fix your own RV, got something for you there. Head over to rvtechcourse.com and get started today. Now for the reason that you're at the end of the video, roll the bloopers. Bamo, bamo. Hey, Todd here. <clears throat> hey, Todd here. Ready to answer your questions. And I'm losing my voice. Yes, it's been three weeks in a row and I'm still having this frog in my throat. My apologies. All right, rapid fire. What questions do you got? Hey, if you want to learn a little bit more, or if you got questions, write them down in the comments. And if I'm feeling all right, I may answer those. If not, you may get a smart reply. Thanks for your questions. So for that person who says, hey, Todd, if you'll sing in January, I'll come to your class. Too late, you're already here. And as of course you can tell, I can't sing. Have a happy new year.